Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce to you, as a very happy Philadelphia Phillies fan, that Matt Klanek is out of the general manager position. Fuck yeah. About damn time, uh, <laughs> this dude was ready to let JT walk. He has done nothing about the bullpen, which cost us the playoffs. Literally the worst bullpen in MLB history with 11, but bullpen ERA is 11. Now look, if you don't follow baseball, an 11 ERA is terrible. ERA, earned run average. So, in other words... They blow every game. They're the Falcons. They are the Falcons. So, I can't remember, like, I know they blew, like, eight lead. They blew eight leads when we were leading by three runs or something. Either way, that's fucking terrible. Uh huh. Other than that, I am very happy he's out. It took long enough. I don't know why this clown didn't get fired. After saying he wasn't going to resign him and let the dude test free agency, which is stupid, considering the fact that JT Romuto is the best catcher in baseball. If you disagree, go um, go lecture yourself. Okay, he's the best in baseball. Um, he also overpays for many people, like Jake Arrieta, who is. The definition of mediocre was it like a two-year deal worth 70 million it's not worth that much the way he plays don't get me wrong he did have a few good he did, he pitches some good games yes but like I said he's the definition of mediocre the only good things that Klanek has done for us Klan Klanek act Klan tech is done for us is Give us Bryce Harper, even though the way Harper's playing, he's not really worth the $330 million. Um, and Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler's doing good. I, I think this year he did very well for us. Now, I don't follow baseball to the fullest, but I know a little bit about it. See, hockey is not my strength in the area. Like, I can talk all about football and basketball. Baseball, I'm okay with. But, like I said, these Eagle rants are... I talk about, you know, the Phillies, the Flyers, the Eagles, obviously, and the Sixers. So, Clinic is fired, thank God. Um, now, just hire a general manager that won't overpay for people. Actually do something about the bullpen. And resign JT Romuto. Okay? That's all. Because if we get that, it could fix not all, but most of our problems. Because those were our problems last year. This season, I should say. Uh, I think we can try and get one more starting pitcher. Because I am not that high on Vince Velasquez at all. I don't know why he's still on the team. But other than that, uh, I woke up very late today. I woke up at 1 in the... I woke up at, like, one twenty-five today, so I've been up for, like, three and a half hours. Uh, but I woke up to the news that Cam Newton has COVID. The, the, um, Chiefs and Patriots game is getting pushed back to, like, Monday or Tuesday. I don't know, man. Like, people are going to say that it's over. But, I don't think it is. Because, baseball, they're not, you know... Baseball, their season kept going. And they play a lot more games than the NFL does. Well, I mean, each team did play 60 games. Well, look, each team played 60 games. So, technically, they... They still do play a lot, but um, 
I don't think the season is over. We are going to have... I, it, it, I know it's not going to be perfect. I don't know why some people thought, oh, la, 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 la. Nothing's going to happen. But, look, leagues did a very good job. Like, the NBA has done the best job out of all of them so far. I mean, look, they're currently in the... They're currently during the finals right now. They're in the room bubble and everything. Baseball was not taking care of the best way, but they're still getting through with it right now. As of right now, it's the playoffs, so that's a good thing. Football, this is um, this is our second COVID incident within the same week, but like I said, it's no, it's it's bound to happen. I'm not saying it's going to shut down, but I'm not saying it was never going to happen. It, I was expecting it. I knew some uh, someone. Because you have 53 players on each team, including staff, including practice squad players, for each of the 32 organizations. And some of them allowing fans, you know, I don't know if they play a factor. But you're, someone is bound to, ha to have COVID when you have 32 organizations, 53 players on the um, roster. Then you have this coaching staff, the front office, uh, practice squad, all that. So it's a big spectrum. So um, there's that. But I don't think the season's over. Um, as of right now, fantasy is getting a little effed up. Uh, so like I said, like me, the only person I lost in fantasy this week um, is Derek Henry, which. Yeah, it's Derrick Henry, but I also did lose McCaffrey due to his ankle injury. But I'm not that upset because I do I still have Jonathan Taylor and Miles Sanders, which we can all agree, that's not bad. And I'm undefeated. I know you don't give a shit. Anyway. Um, so I don't wanna make this whole video about a whole rant, but I guess I could. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is clinic getting fired thank you i forget who the i forget who's like the owner of the team or whatever but thank you for letting this clown go because the dude was really ready to uh, let jt walk so uh, within three days some good things happened with philly sixers hired doc rivers which i was very happy about and I don't know if you know, but I was joking around. That, never, I'm not going to talk to you about that. Um, Doc Rivers gets hired, which I'm very, very happy about. And Clinic fired. But the Eagles, they signed Adrian Killings, some other people to the 53-man roster after putting Jason Peters on IR, honestly. He should just retire. He keeps getting hurt. Look, you're our bodyguard. You have nothing left to prove. You are a Hall of Famer. Just, there's nothing else to prove. We understand you want to help us out. But as of right now, like, you've been a liability this season. And you've been getting hurt. Honestly, just retire. Philadelphia will always love you for being with us for, like, 13 years. So... Anyway, this video's been going on for nine minutes. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Eagles are going to get demolished Sunday night. They are seven-point favorites. I think we're going to lose by, like, 14 at least. Ten or... We're going to lose by at least ten. I think we're going to... It's going to be, like, 27-14 San Francisco. Uh, like I said, I don't care if you tank, guys. Just... Look, if you're tanking, just tell us. Because if you're actually trying to make a playoff push, it's pathetic. I understand there's injuries, but still. Look, if we lose this game, we're going to be 0 3 and 1. I understand our division is shit. But honestly, just tank for Jamar Chase, okay? Please just tank for Jamar Chase. Give Wentz a good, reliable receiver. Please. Thank you for watching.